today is the day that we take our practice lobotomy exam. There's been a lot of things about what's on the practice test is not going to be on the national test. There's a lot of talking saying it's just a bunch, a lot of scenarios, but it's really nothing to worry about if you've been studying. It's really nothing to worry about either or. It's nothing really to worry about, but I'm excited. I'm believing in my heart and I'm praying to God as well that I pass this practice test, but if I don't pass it, we do get to take it over like six times. So that is awesome. Um, I'm so excited to take the test. I am here. Um, all the classmates haven't made it in quite yet. Still waiting on one person. And we got to wait on administration to get here so they can give us the passwords and things. So it's like we got to wait. We got to wait till everyone get here to take the test. And I'm just so excited. I'm ready. I'm ready. So I'm just going to take it easy. Going to breathe. Going to pray. Going to look over some stuff just to be looking over it the stuff that i know that i didn't study like like really and truly like the circulation i needed to, i needed to study that more and um the additives i know the additives but i don't know them know them how you know the book goes in details about them but for the most part i believe that i passed the test questions on there maybe i'll let you guys know how it goes bye okay let me update y'all real quick i am home it is way after school time so i was on the impressions that as soon as we get to school they would have our passwords, our login information, so that we can take these practice, practice tests online. Well, first of all, the lady with the passwords was not there. She was like an hour and some minutes late. Trying to be patient here and trying to calm myself down because this is the moment I've been waiting for because we were supposed to take our practice test on um, Wednesday but since some people wasn't going to be there Wednesday and the teacher wanted all the, the students to take the test together they moved the day to Friday okay so um, so the lady got here we got the password she gave us the passwords but when we logged in none of us and i mean none of us i thought it was just me i didn't even say anything i thought it was just me and so someone said the passwords are not working everybody password was not working so it's like what are we doing now we gotta wait some more time again so i was like well you need an email and password, so of course we gave her our emails. So um, I just clicked on forgot password so that I could reset my password. But I had to end up giving the lady my password so she could log in for whatever reason, I guess, to see the score. But then when we log in, we we have to do a chapter. We have to do seven modules. And we're not, a we wasn't able to straight out take the practice test like I was thinking we were going to do. So, the lady told me that a lot of people had been failing the test and retaking the test. So, they thought it would be better to have study material before taking the test. So it's like you got to go through all these seven modules of study material. It's like you're doing chapter work. You're doing, you're reading and then you're answering questions within the passages. And then at the end of the module, you take a quiz. 
They have to do all these modules, seven modules, that's probably going to take anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours to complete. And then after all those modules are done, you'll be able to take your practice test exam. Um, now, I was thinking that I could skip through it and get to the quiz that way. But no, you have to um, actually answer the questions within the passages in order to get to the quiz. Um, so I'm just at that point. I've done three modules. But um, so far, I feel like I'm going to actually read it and then do the quizzes because I've been missing things that I probably could have otherwise got right. Um, the first module, you don't have a quiz. The second one, um, I probably missed two questions, two or three questions, and the same for the third module. And it's like 20 questions per module that's what it seemed like so far it's 20 questions so um for the most part i am passing so i've been making like 85 percentage but i want to make better than that i should be making better than that you know what i mean i should be making 100 percent. so that's why i'm going to make sure that i go in and i read everything and i believe i can retake the quiz because when i went back to look back at the ones that i've taken um, it wouldn't let me look back at it, but it was allowing me to redo it. So I can go back and read everything and retake the quiz. Um, so I'm going to take my time and do that to make sure I know everything that I need to know and study what I need to get more understanding about. I think it's really good, but at the same time, I wish like we would have known the teacher didn't even know at the same time, I wish we would have known that we would have had to do this study material before the practice test because we were all under the impression that we would be taking our practice test today. And now it's like prolonged because we could have done this Tuesday or whatever and we could have been taking the practice test today if that was the case. So... But the teacher wanted everybody to be on the same page, and everybody's going to be on the same page, you know, with having their passwords and things like that. But as far as, you know, doing the study material and the quizzes, to get to the practice test, we might all be on different different things. But she wants us to then took our practice test by Monday or Tuesday next week, because today is Friday. So, yes, that really bothered me, really, really, really bothered me today because that was my thing that, oh my gosh, I'm going to take my practice test today. I was so excited, but it's okay. Everything happens for a reason, must need the study material, so I'm going to read it. I'm going to go through it. And um, even if I have to do it three hours at a time, I probably don't even need all that time to go through them because I did one module in the classroom, like letting it, it read, it can read it to you if you want it to read to you, or you can read it to yourself, but you have the option to let it read the text to you. And it probably took about an hour to do it. Like if you do read, if you read it or you let the, do a mixture of reading it and letting the computer read it to you. It might take you like less than an hour to do. So um, they have an estimated an estimated amount of time that it would take to finish the module. But at the end of the day, it's up to how fast you are and what you already know. Um, so it's like mostly what I need to do since I already know most of the material. Um, all I have to do is like skim through it and just read where I feel like, oh, I don't know much about this or I need to get a better understanding to where I understand or I can explain it to someone, um, when it comes to this topic. So, yes, I'm excited. Just giving you guys an update and might as well go ahead and tell you guys. So, by the end of this month. We have to have 36 
30 venipunctures. So far, I have 12. I have 12. I've done students in my class. I've done my sister, and I might do some over the weekend if she, my sister let me stick her again, and if her children let me stick them in both arms. They might not let me do birth, both arms, that's okay, but as long as they let me do one arm, that's okay. And I have to take the test tube back to class so it can be my proof that I did get some blood. And um, I had asked my teacher if it was okay for me to... Um, FaceTime her so she could see and you know still be like supervising over the situation because I'm comfortable with drawing blood but at the same time I still want my family members to feel comfortable because I know my sister when she first did it she was kind of like hesitant but she wanted to support me but she know that I can do it and so she's encouraging her daughter and her son to let me stick them as well so but I just want to have my teacher on my phone um, supervising so that they can feel more comfortable about it um, sometime soon this month we're going to be do doing our CPR class which is four hours and um, we're also going to take a trip to a clinic to do vitals um to help out volunteer so we've been working on taking blood pressures with the manual blood pressure um and these um we haven't taken height yet so we're got we got to get to that we just got to get this exam out of the way i believe we'll be going over that next week because we're in our we just got in our book this week and so we did chapter 35 and 36 and over the break we have to do chapter 37 through 44 so we're going to be moving pretty fast because we have we have to graduate in may um so and then so after this month they're still working on our externship, so it's not going to be this month. It's go probably going to be the end of next month or in April. I'm not sure. They're still working on that, but we're all going to be going to different locations. And I'm so excited about that. Um, I'm so much more comfortable and confident in doing my venipunctures and capillaries are so easy that was the first thing we learned um what else was on that paper because we have to take uh keep a list of who and what day and have it signed by a teacher of doing our capillaries and our venipunctures and i want to say injections but we've been doing injections on dummings so i don't know if we're I don't think we're going to be doing any injections unless we do those on site at someone's clinic at our externship. So, I don't know. But I know that in order to take the phlebotomy, national exam for phlebotomy, we have to have all our 30 sticks before we take that test. So, yes. Um, but I don't know the requirements for it. I have to ask her about that. Um, come back and give you guys an update about how I do on the um, thumbotomy practice exam. And I know I'm going to do a wonderful job.